What's up, guys? Back on another video on the regular Jeff Kitchen Show. I know it's been a long time. Sorry about that. Okay, so the, today we're going to be going over my fishing tackle bag and the stuff in it. Today we're going to be going over the worm binder. It's going to be a long video. Well, maybe have to split it up into like four parts. I don't know. Just got these in the mail. Locker logs from Google Squad. This is the black and blue fake. First we're gonna go to the front pocket. This is just stuff I use a lot. Some Goo Goo Squad cracking girls. Black and blue flake again. And then got more locker logs, black and blue flake. Some Goo Goo Squad size four aught. Hooks, EWGs. Okay, a lot of good and small stuff in that pocket. Right. This is the H2 Express. The well, I'll show you that at the end. Uh, in the pocket up here, we have some worm weights, just Texas rig EWG hooks. Those are made by Eagle Claw. I'm trying to go fast as I can because I don't want to have a really long video. First though, in one of the bags we have I'll get it open. Some super speed crawl blue frog by Zoom. We caught a lot of fish on these in the past. Up on here. Next, we have these are really old pack. Put some productos. These are a paddle tail shad. I mean, buzz tail shad. Uh, what color is that? I can't let's read it. It's so old. And then we have just another pack of those. Some Gary Mayam Yamamoto's. Really expensive, but they're good. Um, just some Cinco's. More vegan baits. Have some Slim Shake Worms, Alabama Cough. Like orange in the bottom and then like green is blackish on top. We got some Crack and Crawl Dream Bug. Love this. Another pack of Slim Shake. That's in the um, Blue Baby color. Sorry if you hear like thundering outside. It's like there's like a tornado watch. What else? Let's see. I have a lot more plastics, but they're in the attic. Uh, here we got some 6 inch lizards pumpkin, pumpkin chart. I think I found those in the water one day. Local pond. Got some Super Sock Plus six inch lizards. We got black. Can't go wrong with good old lizards. Bed season. Perfecto. Ooh, getting a good stuff. Got some Fast Assassin. Just some swim baits. Four inch Houndy Elite Sh Shiner. High Techs, love this. Custom Worms, doesn't say what color it is, but next to just a white with a sparkly flake in there. Next, we got some Zoom Red Shell Utils. Had this pack for a while. Catch good fish. And then here, this is a new color from Bass Assassin. Elite Shiner, Rainbow Shad. But I got these a long time ago. Okay, these are all around a really good bait, okay? You can get any, any of the. Here's the Zoom California 420. Me and Tate Franklin go subscribe to him. Shout out. 
Me, that's one of our favorites. Uh, we got some more bass assassins. These are the houndy ball shiners. Pretty big, actually. Bass assassin. June bug blue tail. Curly tail worm, basically. Got some horny toads, then pumpkins. Got those. I have some more horny toads, but those are in black white. Okay, that's it for the plastics. Mm, I don't know if I should come back for a part two. Nah. Well, in the back, we actually got some green bug lizards by Zoom. Got some um, green pumpkin speed speed worms, yeah, that I pulled. Then these are my pliers. I've been running these for a while now. Well, oh, wow, I got them for Christmas, but I really don't know who they're by, but they're really good. They come with a little thing. She's got a little clip on it. They got um, you can rearrange these cutters down there. That mo cutters and just a pliers part. I love these pliers. Side pocket over here, actually. I have my line out over here. Got some trialing big game. It's my favorite line. Twelve pound mono. I have some braid in there too. That I sometimes use. Yep. Okay. I'll go with the bag at the end. Seven minutes. All right, now we're going into hard beats. First, I'll go in my scale. The eye bobber scale. It's actually Bluetooth to your phone. You get eye bobber out, and then it records your catches. With a tape measure. And then it has this attachment that you just... Look right there, and it won't hurt the fish's mouth. This is top water box. There's actually one top water. That's not a top water. I don't know why it's in here. First, we got a small H2O Express frog. I think that's called the bullfrog color, I think. I actually got these for Christmas this year. H2O Express. Another bullfrog. It's more like a bluegill color red brush thing. This color, I don't really know what that could be. Maybe more of a bullfrog. Whitish belly. Got the H2O popping frog. I've had this one for a while. Tied it on a bunch. I need to cut the line off. You got um, H2O popping brown, I think it's called. I did a review on this, actually. Uh, I don't think I've ever caught one on it. I caught fish on all these frogs. This frog, I, I, my friend actually gave it to me at school one day for Valentine's Day, I think, one time. He's cool. Shout out to Jackson Walker. I don't think he has a YouTube channel. Like a bull frog, frog color. Well, these are handmade in Texas. These are jitterbugs. And my dad, he gave them to me. Hand painted. They're made in, no, they're made in Utah. Arkan, no, I, 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 Ohio, Arkan, Ohio. Got another one, just a black with yellow eyes. You can see that, yeah. And then we got the same frog, except in the bigger version. Caught fish on this one a lot. I actually caught like a three pounder on that the other day. This is an old spook. I could get it out. It's humongous. Sparkly. Pretty sure that's pretty old. Don't judge me for this, but I made my own handmade spook. I carved it with a knife. It's a 
a little has a little popping in it, so I guess it couldn't be considered a big, big old popper. Use some old hardware for that, not like out of a bank. And I forgot to put this in my other box, but there's a rattle trap. These are actually old rappers, I think. No, these are rattle traps. The rattling trap company. I actually need to put that in my other box. Okay. So, ten minutes. Okay. Here's the one dollar spinner baits. Let's catch fish. This is the baby bass cuttlefish. I'm gonna get one of those like tape. Here's another one dollar woohaw. I think they're called woohaw. I haven't used that one yet. Then this is a Guggen Squad um, spinner bait. I like the eyes as the Guggen Squad logo. I need to stock up on chatterbaits. This one doesn't, doesn't even have a tray line in it. Uh, here's my chatterbait. Chartreuse and white, looks like. These are Z-Man's, both of them. Yeah, Z-Man. It's got a little um, rage tail on the back. That's another chartreuse and white. A little chartreuse. Alright, I got a couple of plank boots. I don't really use them. I have caught fish on this one before. Tate has the same one. Just a shallow diver. Duh, I don't see. Should dive too deep. Here is a RC2. I think it's what it's called. Just a little shallow diver. I've caught fish on this one. And then we got this three to six feet flat sided crankbait. Well, oh, wait. And it's kind of flat sided, yeah. Uh, 36 feet. It's got a little blue flake on the top. I haven't used this yet. I'm planning on using it. I like using this flake. Around here in the south, we don't have really deep ponds. So, three to six feet is good. Here's a Lucky Craft. I got this at Ollie's for like three bucks. No. Yeah, Lucky Craft. <laughs> then, I just bought this one day. It's a H2 Express. It looks really good in the water, but I've never tried it out. It's just a little brown looking swim bait. Then, got this jig here. Half ounce. Sorry, this. I made feather hooks one time. I had a Barbie doll here at Tate's house. Uh, I took one of the hooks off from one of my handmade lures. This little jerk bait. Shouldn't dive too deep. And then I have some swim jigs. That's a like green pumpkin with a little bit of blue flake in it. These are by on. Um, gosh, I can't remember the by. I need to look one day, because I forget. I love this color. It's more like a bluegill. Swim jig. Got rattle traps. I love rattle traps. This gold one over here, I've been catching a lot of fish on lately. Here's a silver. It's the old rapper. It's one of my dad's old ones. Dad used to bass fish. And we got another old, this may be a raffle, yeah, I think it's a raffle, another one. Cold fish on that one. Here's a cotton cordial. I've been catching a lot of fish on that lately. I did have a gold one that was an old raffle. That freaking catfish broke me off, made me so mad. Man, these are the stuff I sometimes don't really use, so I put them in a box, some soft plastics. I did have them in my one binder, but then they just kept taking up space. Just didn't have room for them. Here's some cane thumpers. Ooh, I love cane thumpers. Actually, these are kind of right here. 
put these on a little weighted hook. And then these are paddle tail shads. I mean, buzz tail shads. This is like my favorite bait right here. What's up? I like the sexy shad color. Then we got some cane pumpers. It's my favorite color. I forget what it's called. But then we have some shad looking cane pumpers. Black top. Then these are KVD, I think. Zinkos with a searcher's chill. They have a little hook thing on it. These, I have no idea what they are. They have a little, like, it's like a Senko, and then it has a little flappy thing at the bottom. And they, they're so salty, dude. Like, that's the saltiest thing. And then I have these little, little trick ones. I smashed some little. Actually, Bram will eat these. So, yeah. That's some culprit um, curly tail purple, looks like. Arms. And, yeah. <clears throat> this other box and it's kind of actually just gram stuff. I don't know why this was in my bath box. I just put it in there. So yeah. And then at the bottom down here, I just throw stuff down here sometimes. Here's some toad double hooks for my horny toads. And got some more. Another pack. Random old hooks and stuff. Bad packs of and there's all types of scrap down there. Oh, let me show you my jigs. Oh, this is getting long, 16 minutes. Right here, these are my dad's old jigs, tournament fishing jigs. I don't use them a lot. Oh, got this stuff. There's some old trailers. That's a bad one. This one. This is a, maybe a half ounce. It's got a rattle in it. Love that jig. And then I don't think they make these anymore. Georgia jigs. I have a couple of them in the bags too. I could actually sell this for a lot of money, but I'm not gonna do it. If they make them anymore, I can't remember. I got some crawl trailers. This whole thing's coming apart. Oh, another one of those orange. Here's a small one. Smaller one of the orange ones. More George jigs. Some jigs that are just all tore up. I found this in my dad's store in the dream and he gave them to me. Shout out to that. And then I have some just beetle spins in here. Just in case I see a couple brand in there, throw them in there. Alright, so that's it, guys. Wait, no. Well, yeah, I'll go back over the bag later in another video. So come back for part two. That's it. See you later.